Good evening class. I know you are struggling to understand English language, right? That is English literature. So this is a new chapter, chapter 10, Adjutant Bird. So before I start my story reading, first I am going to give you some tips that can help you to improve your under improve your English language and improve your also um uh, lang uh, literature because it's quite uh, challenging for a young learner so first you go to first you go to the exercise here's a question first you read the question it can give you some idea about the story idea about the character then you start reading then you can find easily you can understand easily so number one question what was the adjutant bird doing at the start of the story so that means here is a one character that is the bird Number two, what did the monkey do to the adjutant bird? So here's a monkeys, not a one, many. What made the tortoise want to help the adjutant bird? Tortoise, here's another character. What would have happened to the to uh, adjutant bird if his wife had not been there to look after him? What was Bubung's plans to get back at the monkeys? what were the results of bubung's plan so here's a, some idea now we will go back and start reading so this is a story all about the story about the bird that is adjutant bird so this is a long legged uh, stork like bird this is an adjutant bird all right so let's start reading The tall, long-legged adjutant bird lived with his wife on the island of Borneo. One day while his wife was out flying, he fell asleep near their nest. On his back, uh, his sleek gray feathers were neatly arranged and white feathers on his front were only occasionally ruffled by the warm breeze. While he was sleeping... A family of monkeys, nine of them, came stealing down from the trees. They, uh, they saw the adjutant bird sleeping, sleeping peacefully and started to comment on his appearance. So I have a question, guys. That is, what was the adjutant bird doing at the start of the story? So definitely sleeping, right? So bird was deeply asleep and did not hear them the monkeys pushed and shoved each other closer and closer to the adjutant but they were bored and just to amuse themselves and dared each other and pulled out all the tall birds feathers then they rolled around and hooting and laughing at him. They were so noisy that the adjutant bird woke up. The monkeys pointed at him and laughed at him because they thought he looked peculiar. The adjutant bird stretched his wings as if he if to fly off, but found found that he could not do so. So what he found? He could not do so. Then the adjutant bird began to cry aloud. What was he do now? Without his feathers, he could no longer fly, fly in search of food. Without food, what will happen? After a time, his wife came. So here's another character that is wife came back. She was sorry for him brought him food and asked him how in the world he had lost his feathers. Adjutant Bird told her how these horrible monkeys had come while he was asleep and plucked them all aloud and how when he woke they had laughed because he looked so funny. The Adjutant Bird's wife said, Don't worry, my dear, I will take care of you until you grow near new feathers. So here's a, I have question, another question, guys. What did the monkeys do to the adjutant bird? And what would have happened to the adjutant bird if his wife had not been there to look after him? He will definitely die 
right? So after about two months, the adjutant bird was able to fly for his wing feathers and had grown, grown again. And all this time, all this time while his feathers were growing, he had thought and thought about some way in which he could get the better of those monkeys. His feelings had been very much hurt. And he wanted to make quite sure that the monkeys would never do such a thing again. But thing as he would, he could decide on nothing. Then one day when he was walking about near the river, he met Bubung, the tortoise. He told Bubung how those horrible monkeys had stolen all his feathers and how his feelings had been hurt because they had laughed at him and he had hadn't been able to fly for two months and if it hadn't been for his wife he would have died so what made the tortoise want to help the adjutant bird now continue reading then we can get idea we can get the answer so this is a bubung. Bubung was also angry with the monkeys because what's the reason? Reason that they would often jump on his back and dance about laughing at Bubung's slow walk. They knew he could not shake them off or stop them. So I will help you, said Bubung. He had thought of a plan to teach the monkeys lesson. What's they teach? A lesson. But first, you must go and hunt for a boat. What's, uh, what's the use of that? Said the adjutant, but in surprise. I'm not clear at rowing. Never, never you mind, said Bubung. What you must do is to find a boat with a hole in it. The hole must be right side for me. So the adjutant, but agreed that he... And Bubung should meet again in seven days. And the adjutant bird at once set out to look for a boat with the right sized hole in it. So what was the Bubung's plan to get back at the monkeys? What's the answer, guys? So there were lots of old boats lying about and he was not long in finding one. After seven days, he and Bubung met at the place where the boat was flying. Then Bubung crept into the hole so that the water couldn't, could not get in anymore. The people who were standing about helped to push the boat out from the shore and she started away downstream with the adjutant but standing up in her. Presently, Five monkeys were sitting in a row on the branch of a tree, spied the boat, and one of them called out, At Jatinbar, where are you going? Just for a nice trip, said he. May we come with you, you splendid bird? The monkeys asked. Certainly, he answered politely. He had recognized them. There were five of the monkeys who had so cruelly pulled out his feathers and mocked him. So these five monkeys scrambled, chattering into the boat. Then, while they were enjoying themselves drifting in the boat, another monkey, so also one of the feather up, feather pullers, called from another tree and he and three others that very same family dropped into the boat of their branch. When a lot of other monkeys saw these nine having such a pleasant boat trip, they wanted to get into, but the adjutant bird wouldn't have them on board. What he said was that more would overload the boat, but the real reason was that he only wanted the nine who had pulled out his feathers and laughed. The boat drifted out from the river into the sea and the waves began to rock her. 
the adjutant bird pretended that there was danger and told the monkeys to tie their tails together two and two saying that five small ones must sit on one side of the boat and four opposite so that she should not roll so much the monkeys tied their tails together and sat just as he said they very much wanted to stop this rolling for they were frightened when they were all neatly arranged like this with their tails tied the adjutant bird called Bubung, can you hear me i'm going to fly off now yes i hear you answered Bubung. i will swim off too so the adjutant bird flew up and the tortoise popped down out of the hole and into the water and then of course the water rushed in through the hole rushed in means it's quickly go inside water the boat right and the boat began to sink the monkeys tried to swim which they could usually do quite well but their tails were tied together so they had a dreadful time of it in fact they only just managed to get ashore some half drowned and all very much frightened and miserable as for the adjutant bird as he flew away he shouted out now you horrible monkey see what you get for pulling out my feathers and laughing from that day onwards the monkeys did not bother the adjutant bird or the tortoise they carried on being noisy and lively but did not play tricks on or upset the other animals so guys that's all for today thank you for watching and here is a question answer in my description box i will give you the answer you check it you can find easily and if you have question you leave a comments i'd love to hear from you thank you so much and good luck your english language test thank you so much guys